So, so far we've identified the value of your time, mm -hmm. the regular spending you're doing on a monthly basis, mm -hmm. and all of the special events and holidays that come up in your, in your year. And that's quite a bit of spending that could be redirected. Yeah. So obviously it makes sense. You're going to celebrate those holidays, whether you do the shopping annuity or not, correct? Yeah. And you're going to buy those monthly items, whether you do the shopping annuity or not. Correct. Correct. And so it's, it's just a no brainer. So what we want to show you here is what happens if you build an organization that feels the same way that you do and they realize, look, I'm going to do this anyway. Why not get compensated for doing the things that I have to do to live, to spend the money that you're going to spend anyway? So when we look at this, I like to do this two different ways. Um, I like to show it if you built an organization that just did the minimum mm -hmm. versus built an organization that did the shopping annuities. We're going to show you so you can compare and contrast, right? So when you look at this right here, it shows you right now the current monthly organization average for BV and IBV. We have it at about 1,000 BV. That's for 20 people on your left and 20 people on your right. Now, when we did your assessment, what we identified was that you had a potential 28, 24, 2,824 BV per quarter that you could be using and about 1,200 IBV. But what we're going to do is we are going to underestimate over deliver. We're going to be conservative with our estimate. Is that okay? Yep. So rather than putting in that full calculation, which might take you some time to build up to, let's just go with a great goal. So a shopping annuity master member is doing about 500 BV mm -hmm. every month mm -hmm. and um, 200 IBV. So let's go ahead and put that conservative estimate in there. Now, at the bottom here, we see the number of active on franchise owners. So you're, you know, I like to look at this as a new on franchise owner within their first year. So let's say you had 20 business partners on your left organization and 20 business partners in your right. And none of them completed the assessment and none of them were projected to complete the assessment. What would that look like? So we're gonna go ahead and click on next. And it shows you that you would make an average about $3,600 per year, which is not very exciting. No. <laughs> right, that's not really a business venture, right? Yeah. Um, and that's just people doing the absolute minimum, like 50 BV per month or less, or less, which is nothing. And what's crazy to me about that is, there's nothing to do. It's just about figuring out and spending the time to figure out where am I spending money? Yep. Where am I giving my money to other stores where I could be giving it to my own store and turning that into an income, right? So let's take a look at what happens when you take that exact same organization and you have them all complete the assessment like you just did and implement the shopping annuity. That same organization that would have only made about $3,600 in their first year now makes about $4,200 per month or $50,400 in year one. Wow. Just 20 people. Huge difference. It's a major difference. And in three years, they're making $151,000. You're making $151,000 per year, mm -hmm. 252,000 by year five, and over 500,000 per year in year 10. And that's extremely conservative with a very, very small organization. Mm -hmm. Um, that's just talking about the power of the multiplier. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, when we talk about the shopping annuity, again, we're not talking about any money that has to be spent that you weren't already spending. We're not talking about creating a massive retail base, which you, we will have a retail base, but that's not the dependency here. We're talking about taking the time to figure out where you're throwing your money away and could be giving it to your own business. It's so worth your time. Completely worth it. And it's not just a good idea, it's a game changer. It it's really the is. difference between making $151,000 a year or making $6,000 a year. Like, which would you rather? The latter. Obviously, <laughs> right? We want to make, make the six figures, exactly. So um, the, the important part to make, uh, point to make here is this. The shopping annuity is not just about your own personal spending. Mm -hmm. It's about building an organization and helping them to convert their spending into earning as well. And that collective buying power and that force multiplier and what you guys can do when you link households and work together in collaboration instead of competition to create a residual income, not just for yourself, but the people that you're partnered with.